Hey beautiful people, in this quick and dirty how-to, we're setting up Streamlabs on OBS with Linux using the Linux browser. So you... can do this. Aw, thanks John. You're so cute. Okay, let's do this. Um, the old-fashioned way by RTFM. OBS Linux browser on GitHub. Links in the description. Check that out. We don't have to build anything from source. There is a binary version for this, and... Dependencies are OBS Studio, which I'm assuming that you have laying around, and libgcomp, which probably have that installed. Double check, depending on what you are, Fedora, Arch, or Debian. And um, the binary release is very straightforward. So let's head over to the release page and grab the latest and greatest at time of recording, not 6.1. Let's get that saved to... Aha, let's use the download folder. It's there for a reason. So our instructions are to make a config directory and our home, OBS Studio plugins, and untar the business. That should be simple enough. So let's take a look into our downloads folder. That we go. Here it is. Okay, that's just a tar.gz. And we're going to follow the instructions. Easy, easy peasy. So I don't know if this is going to let me copy over my original home directory. And it will. There we go. That's done. So we'll have that dot config OBS Studio plugins in our home directory, then we will not copy everything. That would throw an error now, wouldn't it? Let's copy this and there we go. And from there, we will head back to streamlabs.com, the new hotness where you can make things blink and dance around. What we're doing with this is simple enough. This is just the alert box and you can mix and match and do all types of widgets and you can make it a nauseating experience for your viewers if you so choose. And I will not judge you. Um, but once you have that, the key thing we're going to need is your widget URL. So you want to get that copied and we're going to head over to OBS. Now in OBS, I've created just an alert demo scene. It's relatively blank. It's got my video feed, um, screen capture, what I'm using to record this, and our two audio plugins, which are both jack. You don't have to worry about that. What we're going to do now, since we have a new piece of kit in this for our sources Linux browser, that's going to pop up. You're probably going to want to name it something like Streamlabs or Blinkotron, or you know, something like that. And we'll get this. The URL, width, height, how many FERPs you want to put in it, zoom, custom, a lot of stuff. Flash, that's it. Don't even tinker with that. That would be a bad idea. So let's copy our alert box code. And that should be that. We'll see, we have a nice little alert box that has shown up, which you can, you know, in big and de big and you can set it at any resolution that you want as well. This is something you can absolutely mix and match. So let's get back to that initial shot I had set up. Let's activate. Hi, I'm back. Um, so we have Streamlabs 2. On top, so let's test a donation. Ha! Wait, there it is. That's all there is to it. And this is going to work the same way with like chat or like for a couple of our shots, we use, um, let's see, like a two, three shot. Uh, we can pull off credits. I'm there, I'm down there in the corner. That is just like a tracker. Then we have. We use stream elements for the chat, but that's you, you can mix and match. That's mainly because of the way we have our chat relay between Twitch, Discord, and IRC. But there you go. Easy as that. Have fun with it. Make something cool. All right. Also, if you like what we do, check us out on patreon.com forward slash Linux Gamecast. Almost forgot the plug.